A particle has an initial position vector of that. If the particle moves with a constant velocity of that, that is 2i minus 4j meters per second, that is supposed to be meters per second, find the position vector after one second and after two seconds. So we get working. Now remember here that the formula is simple, that a particle, it has an initial position vector of 5. Now let's, let, let, let's assume that, uh, let the particle be y. So now if the particle is y, if we are to find the, the general expression for the position vector of a particle after a certain time t, we know that the position vector which we are denoting as r, position vector after a certain time t, will be given by the position vector of y plus time times the vector the, the velocity vector of that. This is how we denote it. O y is the position vector and here this is velocity vector times time, this is speed times time. Speed times time means that you are adding a certain distance because distance is equal to speed times time. So it means that you're adding this distance that this particle has traveled with us vector, you're adding this distance on top of the distance from the origin, which is the position vector, so that when you add those two, you're able to get the position vector after a certain time t. So in this case, the position vector O y, according to our question, it is 5i plus 3j. We can write this in column form. This is i 5, 3 plus time times the velocity vector. Now the constant velocity that this thing is traveling is 2 and negative 4. Uh -huh. So this becomes 5, 3 uh, plus t. This is now the general expression, plus t into 2, negative 4. That is the, this is the position vector after a certain time t. t can be anything. But now this question is telling us that find the position vector after one second. So meaning to find this position vector after one second means that we're simply going to substitute the value of one here, then part B after two seconds, it means we're going to substitute the value of two here and we shall be getting our respective answer. So in this case, to answer part A means that we are going to find, it's going to be R times, after one second means the value of T is one, R of one is going to be five, three, plus the value of t is 1 into 2, negative 4. Of course, 1 times 2 is 2, 1 times negative 4 is negative 4, so this remains the way it is. It becomes 5, 3, plus 2, negative 4, like that. So we go ahead and add these vectors. When we add these vectors, it's going to become 5 plus 2, which is 7, then 3 minus 4, which is giving us negative 1. Now this is in the, uh, the x direction, this is in the y direction. So Finally, the position vector, the question wants to find the position vector, remember? So it means that the position vector, which is r of, of, of 1, is going to be 7i minus, minus 1j, minus j. And this is in meters. So this is the position vector of that particle after one second. So now to find the position vector after two seconds, we are still going to substitute the value of t. We're just going to put there number two. So meaning after two seconds, meaning that when r is two seconds, it's going to be equal to five, three, add that two, uh, two into two, negative four. This gives us five, three, plus two times two is four, and then two times negative four is negative eight. Then you will end up with five, five plus four is nine, so this is going to give us 9, then 3 plus negative 8, this is the same as saying 3 minus 8, because this positive and negative is the negative that takes the day. So 3 plus negative 8 is going to simply give us negative 5. So when we do, so this becomes, uh, our position vector after 2 seconds is going to become 9i, this is in the x direction, then the y direction is minus 5. J. So here we have converted the, the vector from column form to IJ notation. We convert this to IJ notation because the question, 
the vectors given in the question are in IG notation, so it means that our answers have to be in IG notation. We have another number here. A particle has an initial position vector of that. So now let's call that particle P. So if that's the particle, the particle is P, it means that the its position vector, a particle has an initial position vector of this. So it means that the initial position vector of P is going to be equal to uh, A, B, C, K. So I, I like writing these in column form. It's easier to calculate them when they're in column form. Then we shall give the final answer in IJ format. So this is going to be A, B, C. That's the vector, the position vector of P. OP. Then they're telling us that the, the, the particle moves with a constant velocity of this. So it means that the velocity vector it moves with is 3, 1, and 4 meters per second. And after 2 seconds, it has a position vector of that. So it means that after 2 seconds, this is its position vector. So meaning that its position vector after 2 seconds is going to be equal to 7, 1, and 4. Like that. So we're supposed to find the values of A, B, C and find how far the particle is from the origin after 2 seconds. So at first, our first task is to find the A, B, C, the, 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 the values of A, B, and C. Now again, we know that the general expression for to find the position vector of a particle after any time t means that the position vector after a certain time t is going to give us first the position vector of this which is going to be op plus the added distance it travels from the position vector and of course the added distance it traveled is going to be speed times time which is going to be it's the velocity vector multiply that by the time and in this case r of t the position vector after any time t is going to be op our position vector here is a b c plus time times the velocity vector which is three one four so this is the general expression for our position vector after any time t but now the question wants us to find the values of a b c now, since we have that after the position vector after 2 seconds is 7, 1, 4, so we are going to take advantage of this information to help us find the values of A, B, and C. So R of 2, it means that uh, when the value of, 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 of when the value of T is 2, when we put 2 here, it means that this whole expression will be equal to 7, 1, 4. So we know that since so meaning that when our value of t is 2, the expression is that. So meaning that r of 2 is going to be 7, 1, 4. So we substitute here when r, when the value of t is 2, it means that the position vector is 7, 1, 4. So meaning that here, 7, 1, 4 is going to be equal to a, b, c plus t. Our value of t is 2 times 3, 1, 4. And of course now this is going to become 7, 1, 4 is going to give us A, B, C plus 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 4 is 8. For us to be able to find A, B, C we are going to make this the subject of the formula so this comes that way. So this becomes 7, 1, 4 minus 6, 2, 8 is going to give us A, B, C. So our value of A here is going to be 7 minus 6, which is 1. We have 1 minus 2, which is negative 1. Then we have 4 minus 8, which is negative 4. So from here, we shall conclude by saying that our value of A is actually 1. Our value of B is negative 1. Our value of C is negative 4 and that's how we get our values of a b and c so after finding the values of a b and c now we're being asked to find how far the particle is from the origin after two seconds now to find the, the, the they're actually asking us to find the magnitude of the vector because as far as 
the particle is from two seconds according to the question they're telling us that after two seconds it has a position vector of this so meaning that after two seconds the position vector of the particle is seven one for that's the position vector after two seconds so it means that if you are to find the distance this particle is from the origin after two seconds it means we are supposed to find the magnitude of this vector so it means that the magnitude of vector is going to give us we're going to simply find the square root of 7 squared plus 1 squared plus 4 squared that's going to give us that the square root 7 squared is 49 plus 1 plus 16 and we shall end up with so meaning that this is going to give us 8 0.12 meters and so that's the deep position of the particle and this is how far the particle is from the origin after the seconds you can try out the number on the screen a particle has an initial position vector of that meters and the particle moves with a constant velocity of this find the position vector of the particle after t then afterwards the position vector of the particle after five seconds now for this kind of answer for this kind of number i expect that when you do part a you will get an expression which when such that when you put number five as the value of t you should be able to get 19i minus 7j minus 16k as your final answer. this brings us to the end of this video thanks for watching feel free to check out other excellent videos on the channel and don't forget to subscribe for example academy this is another